Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? I hope all is well. We've just launched the POCO X5 series recently and what a blast it was. Today, the POCO X5 Pro will be the main character. It's a successor of last year's all-around ace, the POCO X4 Pro 5G. Now this year, it's a perfect clone that doesn't break the bank that really focuses on offering flagship love experiences in all aspects. Now, with many aspects in mind, what could have improved from last year's model? We worked hard to make this year's X Pro model even more complete by introducing a better chipset, improved design experience, and the camera, and of course, a shocking price. Now, the POCO X5 Pro 5G has powerful camera features, and we want to give you guys a feel through real-life photography. So today, I invited a photographer friend of mine. He's currently working with the POCO X5 Pro 5G in the studio, so let's go take a look. Hey, Joshua. Hey, Angus, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Cool, I'm just finishing up this photo shoot. I have a few more shots and I'll be done. So while Joshua's working, um, let's check out some of the accessories he's been working with. So we have a huge TV here with a very nice space photo and it's very clear. So I wonder what he's gonna create with this one. And then I see this really weird big bowl here. Um, seems like a fish bowl, but it's not too heavy. There's no fish, there's no water. So I wonder what he's gonna create with a bowl and a large TV with a space photo. So I'm actually very excited to find out. So we've got a table of things here. I think it's props for Joshua for his shoot. Really funky sunglasses. Let me try this on. How do I look? Wow, we have a huge projector here. Um, we saw a big TV earlier, but we have a huge projector right here. So I was wondering what Joshua is going to do with technically two huge screens with this content, but we'll find out later. Now let's introduce him properly. Next to me is my good friend Joshua. Hey, I'm Joshua. I'm excited to be here. So it's been a while since you played around with the POCO X5 Pro. Um, how do you like it? Well, let me tell you. Let me show it to you. Oh, wow. I have it here. Let me show you some really cool photos I've taken with it. So you just took this photo in the studio? Yeah, I just took the POCO phone, got the model, and took the photo. So I took a fish tank. We also got a big TV to get reflections yes. in the fishbowl to make it look like an actual space helmet. So it looks like she's in outer space. So we had an HD image with lots of detail. So we just found some cool influencers online. And then uh, we said, okay, this would be a really cool thing to do, which we know they're using DSLR cameras with. Right. But we wanted to bring it maybe on a lower scale, just do household items and a Poco phone. It's really important we had 108 megapixels here because we really want to zoom in and right. see the details of like the stars here, which were reflecting from the TV. And we want to zoom in really tight on the eye, which is awesome here. I mean, 108 megapixel definitely seems like it's the help here. It sounds really simple. It seems like Joshua didn't use too many crops to make such an amazing photo. Wow, this photo looks super futuristic. I think this one's really cool. It's mm. got that cyberpunk vibe. And it's all because of the projection in the background. We just gave her some LED glasses and that's all we needed. And then it silhouettes her. So we have all the detail we needed. But we shot with 108 megapixels, so we're mm. able to get the detail in the glasses, a little bit in her shirt, and nice. get all the details in the actual projection image. But it's really dark, it's silhouetted. Sometimes you want to see the face, you want all that right. detail. What is this night mode? So you can see that it's like, it's as if I lit her face and had a really mm. big soft light. And you're able to sharpen it up and you have all these details come out all of a sudden. I also think night mode has been super useful for our users with the 9 in 1 binning technology where you can combine 9 pixel data into one so it actually gives more light to the photo itself. So did you have to use a tripod or anything for this photo? No, this was super easy to use. Just mm. handheld, took the photo. This is a long exposure shot, which okay. is a really cool feature to have in a phone. So usually you have to have a DSLR, an right. expensive camera, you have to add on features to your DSLR to get this shot. But the phone makes it just so easy. Right. And you can also just see the final result right away, which is really fun. We have the model and she's directed to be there, mm. stand there for 10 full seconds. You right. can't move, no movement allowed at all, face anyway. Mm. And I have to sneak behind her with a light. You can see <laughs> this course. yellow light. And I swing the light around to make these cool shapes. So you have these angel wing looking shape, a big circle like the background. And I had to run in front of her and wave mm. this little yellow river by her ah, feet. Okay. Wow, so I'm assuming this was definitely taken on the macro mode, right? This was done on the macro mode. Okay. And so we found this one online. We found some influencers doing something similar, but mm. they used a macro lens. Right. This is built into the camera, which is a really cool feature. Mm. So we got two cups and put a piece of tape over it. Right. Sprinkled some water on top. And we had a, and the right distribution of water to give it a cool shape, the most mm -hmm. cinematic possible. And then put the phone underneath it so right. the light reflect, reflects through it. And you can see the reverse image of the right. photo that we took earlier in each individual drop. That's amazing. 
I actually think it's super creative and it gets super easy when you have simple objects at home that you can play around with and then just use Mac remote to get a completely different shot of what the actual object is. So I definitely recommend our users and fans to try out Mac remote. I think I've said this countless of times in my launch events, in our videos. It's such an easy mode to use and get creative with. Wow, so this was, must be the ultra wide angle shot. And you can really tell because of all the distortion on the sides there. Mm. And usually you can see it as a negative, but in this case we make it a super positive. Right. So the model here is extending her limbs and her shoes out mm. on the corners of the image, which makes it seem bigger when it's up close and extends it further, makes her seem super tall. So it's really cool to use the 120 degrees here because it gives us so mm. much more room to capture the whole room. The space right. here, the setting we have, has all these amazing lines. So when I shot it from down to up, uh, we were able to capture that awesome ceiling. There's this uh, sunroof, mm -hmm. and we were able to use the lines of the staircase to really capture the shapes and to make it seem more popping. Well, I have to say, professional photographers are different, and the photos are completely beyond my imagination. So I need to thank you, Joshua, for bringing so many creative shots. Well, you're welcome, Angus. I really just got to say that the Poco X5 Pro 5G, surprisingly powerful phone, that 108 megapixels and the 9-in-1 pixel technology, and using night mode, really helped me meet my creative needs. Today, I'm gonna to try the ultra wide angle shot with people. And I'm super excited for our fans and users to try out the X5 Plus camera. And of course, all the other amazing features that will come with. Now, it's been an awesome experience showcasing our X5 Plus camera with Joshua today. And I hope all of you get a chance to check it out. It really is one of the best devices in the $300 segment. It's been an absolute honor, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.